projection of uniform circular motion and a diameter is simple harmonic motion. Now we have to prove this. That means the projection of uniform circular motion on diameter. Now I am consider, considering a particle which moves in the uniform circular motion. We know already uniform circular motion. What is uniform circular motion? Here uniform circular motion means the particle which moves in the circular path and uniform circular motion means the velocity of the particle the velocity that means the speed of the particle is constant throughout the motion if we take any point then the speed of the particle is constant that is called a uniform circular motion now i am taking a particle p which moves in the which moves uniformly circular motion then this is the center of that circular path and uh, I am drawing this x and x dash is the diameter and one more diameter I am drawing that is y and uh, y dash diameter. Now this particle is moving in the uniform circular motion. This is the center O I am taking. Now this is the radius I am taking that is A and this particle P which makes theta angle the particle P which makes theta angle for this uh, x x dash diameter then if we draw if we draw a perpendicular on the y y dash diameter this is the perpendicular down from the point P to y y dash diameter. Now this is the projection of this is the projection of the particle on the uniform circular motion diameter. Now here I am taking n. Then here this theta is called displacement of this particle. This theta is called displacement of the particle and the particle P moves with the angular velocity that is omega with an angular velocity omega then if we observe the figure then the angle the angle x o p is theta this is called a displacement that is angular displacement of the particle this is called a angular displacement of the particle then the angular displacement then the angular displacement here angular displacement this angular displacement theta is equal to we can write omega into t here omega is the speed and theta is the displacement t is the time in the time t the particle reaches from this point to this point in the time t with an angular velocity omega then theta is equal to we can write omega into t this is I am taking equation 1 now here the acceleration of the particle the acceleration of the particle is acting along is acting towards the center the acceleration of a particle acts towards the center now if we observe if we observe this is the center and uh, y y dash x x dash here this is the particle p and for this particle p this is the a a is the diameter and uh, along this direction along this direction the acceleration is acting and uh, the particle moves in the along this direction if we draw the tangent of the if we draw the tangent then it gives the direction of motion of the particle now if we see by the diagram by the diagram triangle this is I am taking m and uh, here it is theta then this is also 
same angle theta. Now here on this y y dash diameter the displacement the displacement I am taking y the distance from O to n that is along the y y dash I am taking y then from the triangle O P n from the right angle triangle O P n I am calculating sin theta value here the sin theta value means the opposite side the opposite side by hypotenuse the opposite side O n by hypotenuse this O p it is O n by O p here sin theta is equal to O n this O n value is y and O p value is a by this y is equal to we can write a sin theta and by the equation 1 already we have a theta is equal to omega t this we can write a y is equal to a sin omega t here this is I am taking equation 2 now I am calculating velocity velocity v is equal to the rate of change of displacement that is dy by dt here already the displacement v we have that is y we have that is d by dt of a sin omega t now on this if we substitute then a sin omega t then we will get a cos omega t into omega that is a omega cos omega t we will get this is the velocity of the particle now if we if we want to calculate the acceleration the acceleration of the particle a is equal to we can write the acceleration we can write the rate of change of velocity the rate of change of velocity already we have velocity v is equal to then d by dt into a omega cos omega t that is if we do this uh, derivation then we will get a omega sin omega t that is minus a omega sin omega t into omega that is minus a omega square sin omega t we will get this is the acceleration if we observe this a is equal to minus a omega square sin omega t then by this we can write a is directly proportional to this is small a is directly proportional to minus a we can write here this is the radius or this is the displacement then the acceleration of the particle the acceleration of the particle is directly proportional to the displacement and oppositely directed that's why the motion of this particle on the uniform circular motion uh, uniform circular motion diameter is a simple harmonic motion we can say that by this a is proportional to minus a that is the motion of the particle on uniform circular motion diameter is a simple harmonic 